Hello traders, FS Pepcoletti here. Today is Wednesday, July 10th, and I'm going to be analyzing the S&P 500 or the SPX 500, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the monthly, I think is where the clarity really is anyways, but I think this is very, very clearly a one, a two, and we're currently in a wave three. I think that this is going to go up to at least a 161.8, which is right around the $6,000 area before we see a pullback for wave four and a wave five so keep that in mind because it's important no matter what time frame you're trading on going down to the weekly no Fibonacci bounce no lower high no reason to do anything but look for longs really going down to the daily time frame my most recent structure level is right here because that's where the last end of an ABC went is so basically that tells me if it does start a move down which it really doesn't have to it could keep going up pretty easily but if it does start a move to the downside unless it goes down and breaks this structure right here i definitely will look at any moves to the downside as nothing but abc cretins to the uptrend just like these last few one two three patterns that we've had so let's take it down to the four hour time frame Four hour time frame we do have a smaller structure level right here if we get a break of this structure then it should prove that this whole trend right here is over but until it actually goes down and breaks this structure i would definitely be looking at any moves to the downside there's nothing except for the beginning of another abc crescent to the uptrend so taking it right down to the one hour time frame so it definitely looks like it possibly could go down and break Strutzer for sure. And Powell is actually doing a test of Mon is testifying right now in front of Congress. So if it is going to go down, it seems like it'd be a pretty good day for it to do so. Tomorrow is CPI for the U.S. also. So we got a, some pretty big news ahead of us for the U.S. in the future. But for me, unless it unless it goes down and breaks this four-hour time frame strut, so I am definitely bullish, and I would definitely still be looking for longs. I mean, it easily could just continue to make higher highs, higher lows. I much prefer to let the market tell me when it's time to start looking for sorts. If we break this strut right here, that's going to tell me that it is the beginning of at least an ABC to the whole move up on the four-hour time frame like I was just explaining. So until we get that start to break, I'm definitely looking for longs at the end of one, two, three-way pullbacks, one, two, three-way pullbacks, one, two, three-way pullbacks, one, two, three-way pullbacks. So definitely looking for three-way pullbacks and trees to go long for the continuation of this uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website, FX Pip Collector, if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups and my daily live Zoom meetings. As always, thank you and happy trading.